Hello everyone. Today we are discussing vitamin C serums, the benefits, the costs, what to look for, and how to best spend your money. But a little background before we get there, let's talk about vitamin C a little bit so that you know what to look for when you're shopping. As you probably already know, vitamin C is essential for our health. Hundreds of years ago when people died of scurvy, what they were dying of is vitamin C deficiency. It is imperative in the building of our bones, our collagen, the uh, process of healing uh, cuts and scrapes and scars, keeping our teeth in place and not having them fall out. Vitamin C is critical in all of those actions. Now to add a little bit to the skin, definitely benefits our skin as well. The things that vitamin C does for our skin is it, it boosts and produces, helps produce collagen for our skin. It also is an antioxidant, so it helps fight free radicals. It helps us uh, calm inflammation, so it's great for rosacea and acne. And it also inhibits a step in the pigment production that makes melanin or our color. So people who have brown spots, hyperpigmentation, can reduce that by using vitamin C serums. Now the active vitamin C in our skin is L-ascorbic acid, which is also sold as a serum on the market. However, it is very unstable. It has a very short half-life and oftentimes when you purchase it in a product, by the time you start using it, it is there's nothing there anymore. Nothing is active. So to keep, you have to keep in mind the things that help the oxidization process of vitamin C. There are three components to this. One is temperature, another is light, and the third one is air. So contact with air in a warm climate with a lot of bright light is going to oxidize and destroy the vitamin C, the L-ascorbic acid, much, much quicker. What can you do to prevent that? Well, a dark bottle kept in a dark cabinet or your refrigerator will definitely slow down the process. I don't know of any companies that produce L-ascorbic acid in a very dark package or a very dark container uh, that is airtight and that is sad and unfortunate and I don't even know why that's the case. Um, you can buy L-ascorbic acid which is stabilized with ferulic acid and vitamin E which works synergistically the E boosts the C and the C boosts the E. Um, SkinCeutical has a formulation like that. It's, I think, over $100. It is a good vitamin C serum. Contact with air from opening up the dropper and taking the vitamin C on your fingers and putting it on your skin. Every day that you use it, it oxidizes so quickly. And it's, I think it's hard to justify that kind of money for a product that won't last you three months. A product with almost identical ingredients, the vitamin C and E and uh, ferulic acid, is the Timeless Skin Care that also used to come in a dropper, and they, they've since switched to a pump, which is great. So now there's a lot less air contact with the serum, but the packaging is light, and of course daylight is going to penetrate through this container. But if you keep it in the fridge or if you keep it in your cabinet, I would say this is a far better uh, way to keep the vitamin stable uh, than a dropper form. Having said that, vitamin C is an acid and it can be irritating to some people with sensitive skin. Our skin pH is 5.7 and vitamin C is far lower than that. So it can cause irritation and itchiness and sensitivity, so it's not for everyone. So because of all of these challenges, the cosmetic industry has started researching and producing vitamin C esters, which is now in, in a lot of new vitamin C products. Now there's good and bad with everything and also with the esters. The vitamin C esters are not the active form of vitamin C that is used in our skin, but they are lipid soluble, which means they penetrate deeper. They can actually penetrate through the stratum corneum, which is our skin barrier, uh, which is a, a form of lipids and so they repel water and they don't let it penetrate through. So these esters can penetrate through and get in deeper. 
um, but then they have to be converted to l ascorbic acid. And even though people say they do or they don't, there's really no good research to document how much of the esters convert into l ascorbic acid or which esters are better than other esters. The current popular ester is the tetrahexyl decyl ascorbate, or THD, and that's used in several brands that I'll speak about shortly. And that does penetrate through the skin and deeper into the dermis, and it seems to have very good clinical results. One company that sells the THD as a serum, just a pure THD serum, is Truth Treatments, and they actually sell it in several forms. You can buy it in a dropper form or in a balm, and it. some people rave about it. I have tried the dropper form, and it broke me out. I couldn't use it. Um, it is an expensive serum, but you can buy a very, very small size, I think five milliliters, something critically small, just to try it to see if you like it and if it suits your skin. So if you're looking for a pure vitamin C serum that's going to be stable, that's a good one to try. Another thing to think about is are you looking for a vitamin C serum or are you looking for an overall comprehensive antioxidant serum? Now if we're talking about antioxidant formulations in the L-ascorbic acid form, I would be very weary of those because when you buy the pure L-ascorbic acid, it's a clear liquid and as it starts to change color, you know it's oxidizing and it's not effective on the skin anymore. But if you buy it in a product that has a color or is even white, as that L-ascorbic acid is going to start oxidizing, you're just not going to know it. And if it has uh, interactions with other ingredients, in the product, the serum or the cream or whatever you're using, again, you're never going to know if you're actually putting an active vitamin C on your skin. So I would steer away from those because you really just don't know what you're getting. Frequently, the Skin Better Science Alto Defense Serum gets mixed in the bag of vitamin C serums and it's not really where it belongs. This product does contain vitamin C in the form of THD, but it is by no means a vitamin C serum. It is uh, overall very comprehensive, elegantly formulated antioxidant serum. It contains antioxidants in the form of enzymatic antioxidants, water-soluble antioxidants, and lipid-soluble antioxidants. The percentage of vitamin C in this product is not listed on the box, but when uh, this company did clinical trials, they compared to a 15% L-ascorbic acid and the Alta Defense Serum outperformed the L-ascorbic acid. But again, you're not really comparing one vitamin C to another vitamin C. You're comparing 19 antioxidants to little L-ascorbic acids. So I don't think that that's really comparing apples to apples. However, like I said, if you want a comprehensive antioxidant serum, this one clinically has shown to be better than l acid alone. Some of the ingredients in this product include linoleic acid, vitamin E, coenzyme Q10, um, there's peptides in here, niacinamide, green tea, coffee, turmeric, uh, saffron, all kinds of ingredients. Uh, so like I said, it's a comprehensive uh, antioxidant serum. Another great thing about this product is the packaging is airtight. There's a nitrogen cap in here, which is basically an, a layer of nitrogen, which produces an air seal so that none of the products in here come in contact with air. And every time you dispense a little bit of the product, it's like it's brand new and never been opened. So I think that is an adv another advantage of it. It is quite expensive. So again, it depends on what you're looking for. Are you looking for a comprehensive antioxidant serum with 19 various antioxidants? Or are you looking to get maybe a vitamin C serum and separately you're gonna have your coenzyme Q serum and maybe your niacinamides and your ceramides come in the form of your moisturizer. And so you are not looking to get 19 different ingredients. Um, this does not cause irritation. The pH of this product is 5, and like I said, our skin is 5.7, so it is quite gentle on the skin. It can be used twice a day, daily, however you like to use it. Um, 
this product I don't think you could use twice a day it would be far too irritating um, I think that if you keep this in the refrigerator or in your cupboard in the bathroom you will extend the life of it the nice thing about this is when it does start to change color you know it's time to change the product and this one is not that expensive so you can have beautiful skin and very effective vitamin C serum without breaking the bank and that's where I think this one would be really great. So, so that's vitamin C in a nutshell, L-ascorbic acid, vitamin C esters, general comprehensive antioxidant uh, formulations. You have to decide what you're looking for, what your budget is. I will just warn you to stay away from L-ascorbic acid formulations that are mixed with a bunch of other ingredients. Chances are that in those products, you're really not getting any vitamin C activity. So keep that in mind. Uh, let me know what you like. Let me know if you found this helpful, what I've left out, or any questions you may have. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.